This is time for Time Lapse Tips Tuesday. Hey there, this is Emmerich from Emmerich's Time Lapse. Welcome to Time Lapse Tips Tuesday, episode two. In those short educational videos, I will share with you some tips, advice, tutorials, and more about time lapse and hyperlapse photography every single Tuesday. So don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell if you don't want to miss any of them. Let's talk about Holy Grail Dead to Night Time Lapses with AV Mod. If you've been following me for a while, you probably know that I hate shooting the tonight time lapses using the aperture priority mode of my camera, which is when you select your aperture and ISO if you want, and the camera will change the shutter speed by itself. But recently, during my trip to Chicago and Miami, I came across some scenarios that made me shoot in AV mode. Or let's say I just needed more sleep that morning. And this is what you should not and should do in order to capture and create day to night time lapses with the aperture priority mode of your camera. Don't shoot with an aperture too open or too close. Yes, it's basic advice, but select an aperture between f6.3 and f8 in order to get the best sharpness and depth of field possible, but also good shutter speed for day or night. Usually with those apertures, you should not go more than 4 or 5 seconds shutter speed during the night. If you have 400 or 500 ISO, your CD should be properly exposed. Don't leave the ISO in full auto. I mean, yes, do select auto ISO, but go in your camera settings and select the minimum and maximum ISO settings you would like to use. I usually go for 100 minimum and 400 maximum. And finally, in order to avoid burning the highlights in the sky or in the city lights, ask your camera to keep minus one stop of exposure on your EV. That way you will have perfect exposure for both highlights and shadows if the sky gets a little too bright. It's always easy to bring back some information in the shadows, but if you have clipping, there's not much you can do. And finally, use L or time lapse in order to smooth out the exposure ramping. You don't really have the choice, to be honest. The Holy Grail Wizard does not turn on when you shoot in AV mod, but that's okay, I just use a little bit more of visual death flicker. And by the way, time lapses in this video were shot in AV mod and the Canon 5D Mark IV. Even though shooting in AV mod can come handy once in a while, I highly recommend to shoot in manual mod all the time for two main reasons. AV mod has been designed for handheld shooting, which means the camera will change the ISO first. And number two, you always have a risk to see your shutter speed being slower than your interval when it gets dark. You lose control and wouldn't be able to change anything if a problem occurs. Our friend Gunter from LR Timelapse wrote a quick forum post on his website that will explain everything with more details, so check the description below. Alright, so this is it for this second Time Lapse Tips Tuesday. Next Tuesday, I will teach you everything you need to know to shoot time lapses with half a second interval, because they are amazing. If you want to learn more and get better at time lapse photography, don't forget to check out all my classes available on my website. I have so far created over 24 hours of lessons in 113 videos to learn everything from the production to the post-production and even more. So click on the link in the description below for more details. Okay, well, I'll see you in the next Tuesday. No, yeah, we'll see you next Tuesday. Ciao.